We're in front of Vincent's Meat Market. This is where I really shop and buy a lot of my meat. Anytime I'm on Arthur Avenue, I come over here and I buy my meat. You got a nice loin of pork. Right. So you can do all your cuts. Okay. You show them uh, what comes out of it. All right, a loin of pork is, you could get so many things out of a loin of pork. It's, it's amazing. I mean, if, if you ever want to save and economize on, on, on some money, you buy a loin of pork, you get your pork chops, you can get some pork stew, you get some meat for the gravy, you get your center cut, you get your, your end cut, you get the rib, you get the loin, right? I mean, yeah, it's amazing. you also get your pork tenderloins out right? of here. Country style ribs you could get, meat for right. the sauce. So I'm gonna show you how we start. First, we take this end piece off. You gotta feel it, it's like a little, it's like a little bone, right? Yeah, and you just it. cut right through. You see that? See how it went right through? So we'll just chop that off. And this piece is what they call it. I, it's, it's not a head, but they call it the head. My, my grandfather used to say, bum a worker, blame the tools. That's what he used to say, remember that? Your father used to say that too? Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna bone it out. What I like to do on this is I would like to leave a little meat on the bone, only because I'm gonna save that. And when I wanna make a nice gravy, sauce, whatever you want to call it, just throw this in, it gives it a nice flavor. Okay, so now, so now with this here, this piece of meat, take some of the fat off, you know, leave a little bit because you don't want it to be too dry. Now this little piece here, now that's like a little filet, see? That's part of the tenderloin. Okay, now this piece here, there's two things you could do with it. You could cut it and make like stew, like little kebabs, pork kebabs, marinate them nice, put them on the barbecue. Okay, or you could get like pork cutlets. Slice them nice and thin, and these are nice and nice. I love that word, nice. You cut them nice and thin. You could also cut them just a little thicker, kind of like butterfly it. I pound it out. Then you could season it a little bit, a little breadcrumb, a little parsley, a little garlic, and then you make a brujol. Roll it up. You tie it, one day it's a whole nother show. I'll show you how to do that. So there you go. There's, that's one, look at all the meals you could get out of that part. Now on the other side of the loin of pork, that was the loin in. Now we got the rib end, okay? And what you do is you count one, two, three, about in between the third and fourth chop. And you just come down, take that over here. Okay, again. Another piece. Now, over here, we're going to get our country style ribs. Just go down, gotta go along the bone. We go like this, and there you go. You got your country style ribs. These, you could put them on the barbecue and cook them like spare ribs, or you could put them in the sauce again, or you could grill them just like that. Very good. So, country style ribs, okay? We got the pork cutlets. We got the bone for the sauce, okay? We got the brajol, right? We got the filet, right? And this over here, we have the trimmings. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna save all the trimmings. What we're gonna do is we're gonna grind that. We're gonna make a little chopped meat out of it. Pork chopped meat, we could throw it in the beef with the meatballs, it's gonna be good. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut our pork chops. You have loin end and rib end. Just go along the bone. How am I doing? I got it, I still got it over here? There we go. Now what we do is, I'm gonna cut them on a saw. You can cut them by hand, or you can cut them on a saw. What do you think, you're not gonna cut them by hand. I'm gonna do it the old fashioned way. All right, he wants to check me out over here. And here's your loin. See, now if this was steak, this would be like a T-bone, a porterhouse steak. See, it's got the little filet, it's got the center cut, and this would be like a rib steak. You could also go a step per further and leave this hole, okay, like that, and just crack the bone on the bottom without cutting here and have a loin of pork roast. And there you have it, a loin of pork. Get over here, Pete. <laughs> I do a good, did a good I job. I did a good he job. Did a good job, yeah. All right, and there's your loin of pork. You get a lot of meals out of a loin of pork. I want to thank Peter for helping us out over here. Next time you don't know what to cook, what's for dinner, get a loin of pork, and you'll have five dinners at one. Thank you. Ciao.